July was a month of surprises. The weather was cold and rainy and changeable and didn't feel much like spring was approaching. But it was like the garden knew that soon there would be more daylight and a bit more warmth. All over the garden there were new leaves sprouting, buds appearing on deciduous trees and flowers coming out. New green grass, lots of weeds and a lot of things growing again that haven't been growing much over the winter months. There are a lot of seedlings appearing of various kinds, not necessarily identifiable yet. I hope that they'll grow into something interesting, but a lot of these things we have to wait and see. And you never know when they might turn out to just be weeds. This is the last time you'll hear the barking of the dogs next door in one of the garden videos as our lovely neighbours to whom these friendly woofers belong are heading off to Singapore for a few years. So any future barking will be the voices of some new friends.
more life was around in the garden this month with lots of tiny flying insects, lots of caterpillars and so on. It took me a long time to discover the culprit of these very thoroughly skeletoned gum leaves down near the garage. But when I did eventually find one, I realised that there were quite a multitude of little caterpillars all over the eucalypt. Also, something which will be new in August is that you may notice a difference in the quality of the video footage for next month as, very excitingly, I'm finally going to be getting a real camera. So everything you've seen of the garden to up till now has been filmed on my phone and I'm hoping that next month I will be a quick enough learner with the new equipment to produce something of pretty decent quality. The weather this month ranged from foggy mornings with freezing nights where our firewood was much appreciated to quite pleasant days which were still cold but in which the sun was quite bright and gave the appearance of that pretty kind of autumn coloured light that always looks lovely on the plants. One of our surprises this month was very interesting. In a gravel crusher dust path that had been laid, a radish appeared. Out of nowhere, I hadn't planted any radish seeds around the garden. So we're grateful to the gravel company for this small snack.
July has brought the garden its first iris, along with a lot of other bulbs and lilies emerging from the ground. Irises were very special to Grandma, so the iris video takes pride of place in this segment. A lot of our family members' birthdays are around August, and it really feels as though the garden here puts on a bit of a birthday show with all the flowers starting to come out and the first bit of sunlight that is again containing some warmth and just so many things sprouting back and showing the promise of new fruit and new flowers and new growth. 